In today's program, we will attend an ethnic festival and the first World Horseback Archery Championship. We will talk to the most titled decathlete, a bronze winner of the Athens Olympic Games, Dmitry Karpov. Then we will tell you where in Kazakhstan sports well-ranked contortions train. We are launching an unusual rubric arena for you. The reason for that is our visit to the World Horseback Archery Championship. New Sultan City hosts the competition. You know, everything here expresses the spirit of that time. National style decorations, sportsman clothing and even smell of the horse stable. We used to hold international Jambi A2 tournaments. This time the World Horseback Archery Championship is being held for the first time. How many sportsmen? I guess not only from Central Asia. About 25 sportsmen from 15 countries are going to participate. How sportsmen are motivated? Is prize money awarded? The prize money comprises 4 million tenge. No similar prizes are implied anywhere for this kind of sport. A horse gallops, a horse rider shoots a few targets. Not only target accuracy is taken into account, but the speed in overcoming the distance. It takes months or years of hard training to master this kind of sport. The fact of establishing federations and teams of mounted archers in many parts of the world says about the great future of this kind of sport. A team of five sportsmen represents Kazakhstan as a host country. The rest introduced two to three sportsmen from each country. Almost all of them are champions, winners of international tournaments. In other words, they are high ranked. Now we are in the so-called pit stop, the place where sportsmen get ready to start the distance. We literally have a few minutes to talk to one of the participants. A charming young woman from Kyrgyzstan. Hello, please tell us why did you choose this sport and how long have you been doing it? For about a year. It's a hobby for me. I have my main job, I'm a journalist and this is my favorite occupation. So in this sport, does it matter whether you're a man or a woman? We're usually divided. Women compete separately. But today we participate all together. Among all participants, two women come from Russia and Kyrgyzstan. In this sport, everyone takes part equally. Sportsmen brought sports equipment with themselves, bows, arrows and quivers. Horses are chosen locally by lot for an honest competition. How beautiful you are! This horse has an acceptable reason for being absent on a track. She literally has had a foal and now she's on maternity leave. In terms of horses, skills in this kind of sport, they are no less as important as horse rider skills. You may have noticed that the sportsman hands are busy doing competitions. So the mutual understanding between a man and an animal must be great. As a horse gains confidence, then the horse rider's results grow. Here he is, small, lying and having a rest. It is allowed to shoot carbonaceous arrows at such tournaments. Sportsmen have similar ones, but the plumes are different color. The spectators are warned all the time to be more careful as the participants have cold weapons in their hands. Could you tell us whether this bow has some features? A typical bow, but the size a bit exceeds the standard one a Hungarian bow. We shoot by European style by using three fingers. Asian style is different by nature. Here acts a thumb. What is your result? 
today? Yes. I don't know. Why? I'm still alive. It's good result. <laughs> <laughs> Frank Sille arrived in New Sultan from far Alaska. For him, mounted archery is a hobby. In his everyday life, the American breeds husky dogs. He says he has a peculiar attitude to animals. This year in Texas, in March, I was international championship. I was winning champion. In U.S., it's very popular and growing sport. We have 60 clubs and about 1,000 archers on horse. There are a few kinds of this sport. What's the difference between them? They are differentiated by targets. The Asian style equals the Korean style. There the target is big and many points are awarded. The Kazakh style is differentiated by a small target and it hangs in the air, can sway in the wind. One of the most complicated competitions in the world. The main fight for top three, as it was expected, occurred between sportsmen from Kazakhstan, Mongolia and South Korea. Eventually, our countryman icons Yaral Khan turned out to be the most dexterous and accurate. The sportsman earned the desired cup and the title of the world champion. Could you tell us whether many people like you do archery in Ukraine? We founded our federation in Ukraine and we have a lot of people involved in horseback archery, but not all of them are ready to go to international competitions. Could you tell us your story? Why did you start doing this sport? I have been working with horses for quite long, over 20 years. I'm a horse stuntsman. What films did you act in? They are bound. I don't remember exactly. Hollywood films, Chinese films, The House of Flying Daggers. We were able to get a bow. Now we will practice. Is it right? So we have mastered the technique. Now next. Hit the target. Taking into account the fact that participants of competitions do that on the horseback, my job is much easier. To hit the target from standing position. I missed. I have learned the technique, now it's time we sharpen skills. It's not easy. Following the failed attempt to shoot a real bow, the filmmaker sends me to practice. This bow is more understandable to me. The technique is the same that I used in my childhood. We will shoot hairs. Then we will hit the targets. One more attempt. A bow is not for me. Here comes a big interview with Dmitry Karpov about a state servant's job, modern multi athletists and life in the 90s. The world-ranked stars in Kazakhstan's track and field athletics can be counted on the fingers of one hand. Decathlonist Dmitry Karpov is in one line with them. He won the third place in the Athens Olympics, won a lot of international tournaments, now he's responsible for the development of sport in Karaganda region. Good afternoon, Dmitry. How are you? Good afternoon. I'm fine and glad to see you at our stadium. What is your height? 
198 centimeters. Perhaps that was your advantage in decathlon. No, no peculiar advantage. As Roman Chandelier is 184 centimeters. The most important is to be able to combine everything. Leap, run, sprint, throwing the javelin, shot put. When did you have an idea to leave sport? That happened after 2014 Asian Games when I won the fourth place. I decided for myself that I had had enough. Constant injuries, hard recoveries. It was time I lived a different life. My children grew up, went to school. I decided to finish my career. I had a one-year break, tried myself in sales. In 2015, I was offered the position of the head of the children's sports school in Karaganda, the school where I started my sports career. Last year, in May, I was appointed as the head of the sports department for Karaganda region. What is the hardest thing to get used to? The hardest thing for each sportsman is to sit still, not to travel for gatherings. Everything is different now. Communication is not like as it used to be. I started to read a lot, study a lot of books, legislative acts. Meanwhile, you stay in shape. Like any other professional sportsman, the heart got some load for 15-20 years, it's hard to terminate everything immediately. It may cause arrhythmia, cardiac problems. I train for myself, go for a run. I remember the 2004 Athens Games. I watched the games on TV. I was 14 years old. I barely understood these competitions. Nevertheless, following seven to eight competitions, you came first. At the end of eight kinds, I was the leader. Following the first day, I showed a strong result. On the second day, I went out with an injured knee. That caused some hardship. In fact, I overcame 110 meters steeplechase without warming up. My opponent's results were much better. Surely I wanted the golden medal. Entire Kazakhstan desired it. But everyone has his her own fortune. In sports luck. There, were you short of it? Yes. You seem to have earned the bronze medal and wouldn't stop. We thought everything would be different in Beijing and you would do your best. Why did that happen? In Beijing, at the beginning, I showed the best result of the season. When I went out to run 100-meter distance, the hind surface of the hip fractured. Has decathlon still been living after you quit from this sport? Sure it has. Now the Federation is considering an issue of introducing children's multi-athlon so that a child could try in all kinds and then trainers choose 14 to 15 year olds for certain kinds. Can the one who successfully performs in all kinds join decathlon? Yes, sure. We have a prime example of Olga Ripakova. At the beginning, her sports career started from multi-athlon. Her father, her trainer, was a decathlonist as well. Decathlon is a complicated kind of sport and conditions for training are very important. During your career, as I understand, there were no conditions. How did you overcome that problem? Those days, everyone had to overcome. The priority is a name. Could you tell us about life hacks? For example, when you didn't have a javelin and threw a rolling pin. We had a javelin, but we threw it in the step. I did that with my father. We faced problems with poles. Just at the end of the 90s, when the Soviet Union collapsed. Anyway, we were able to go through it. 
so throwing the javelin was your weakness. First, a man should have a sturdy shoulder. It stems from nature. A shoulder, an elbow all together influence the outcome. Being a sportsman, you criticize the job done by the Track and Field Athletics Federation officials. Today, how do you feel from the position of this sports governance? To be honest, it is the other side of the coin. When I was a sportsman, everything seemed to be great, but civil service is different. Here as in multi-athlon, the same everyday routine. It was hard to get used to it. I want to correct the things inside that I had mentioned before. Aim is still the same. What did you change first when you were appointed as the head of the department? Meals at gatherings, a rise of trips, an opportunity for children to travel more. At the beginning of the year, the Department of Physical Education raised sportsmen's meals. When I was a sportsman, the tariff comprised 2.5 thousand per day. We raised that sum up to 4 thousand. Football club Shakhtar plays domestic matches in Astana Arena. In other words, not at home. As you know, we have a natural lawn. The season of the Kazakhstan football starts in March. The field has not been ready. Now we are working over it. We want to lay an artificial lawn. We are planning to participate in the competition. The building where the Department of Sport is located is unique as far as I know. It was built in 1958. It's a functioning sports plant. Here we have sports gyms for freestyle, Greco-Roman wrestling, judo, boxing and a swimming pool with diving towers. All of them in a 60-year-old building. Yes, it is functioning. It works for the nation's health. Our sports museum. We keep the first 1963 Cup All Regional Sportsmen's Awards. It turned out that both you and Golovkin, while participating in the Athens Olympics, were recognized as winners. Did you start to communicate closer? After the games, three of us, Seri Kileov, Gennady Golovkin and I came back. We were introduced to the whole region, who we are, won medals. There we became good friends. Just messages, as Golovkin is in the USA all the time. When he arrives, if we have time, we meet. As I understand, your children are involved in sport as well. You see they are now at the following step. My son joined hockey at the age of six. He likes it. He has a desire. It's his choice. He does track and field athletics. My daughter took up track and field athletics, but looking after her brother, she joined hockey. Who among Kazakhstan's sportsmen are close to the highest results in decathlon? I wish the result of 8,725 points and hope to reach that as soon as possible. I will be very proud if anyone from Kazakhstan scores more points. No one has predicted for that? No one yet. It takes at least eight years to raise a multi-athlonist. Mitri, thanks a lot for your shared time. Good luck in your uneasy job. Thank you. Further in the program, Svetlana Novoday will open the door to the world of sports acrobatics.
Ноги зажми. Еще зажми. Sports acrobatics is first a spectacle. Here it is guarantee. Sportsmen are taught to be strong, flexible, can spin and do turnovers. Many want to do that, but not everyone can cope with it. A lot of parents come to us. They understand that acrobatics is the basis of any kind of sport. Following acrobatics, people join wrestling, hockey and figure skating and even rhythmic gymnastics. The ideal age to get started is at the 5 to 6, but even adults come and achieve good results. The first thing they are taught here is to keep discipline. No limits. The more you work, the better and more success you can achieve. If you put your arms and legs right, then no injuries. It is vital to think how to do this or that trick. A few words about rules. Acrobats compete in three different kinds, on a 30 meters long track, on a trampoline and perform in pairs on a mat. Someone dreams to work for Sig du Soleil and someone is obsessed with an Olympic medal. All three kinds on a track, on a mat and on a trampoline were correlated. We help each other. Having known that trampoline is an Olympic game, many run faster to the trampoline. It is a very complicated kind of sport. Not everyone can succeed. We even have a world trampoline champion, Musabayev Daniel. Children want to be like him, look up to him. In one of our programs, we already told you about young world champions including Nikita Moskin and Nastya Dolgonyuk who train in one gym. Kazakhstan's traditions of sports acrobatics are good. There is a base including Soviet, but good trainers are more important. We have stars, peculiar little stars. Here he turns his back to me. You know, a lot of young stars on a trampoline. Нет, вы знаете, очень много звездочек и на батутике очень много звездочек, но не всегда выдерживают и родители и дети. Parents and children not all the time cope with that. The loads are heavy. You witness that. The 8 to 10 year old children get a lot of load. We explain that to parents. If they wait a bit, their child will get used to it and succeed. program is coming to an end with a video of the week. World TIG Championship has finished in France. Yes, you didn't overhear. A British Christian Devo created in other words established it at a professional level in 2015. Together with Tresseurs, he established rules and created bars. As we guess, it turned out to be fun.